Let's get naughty. Let's make some black forest cherry muffins, which are actually more like a brownie, with beautiful sour cherries, fresh cherries on top, and a delicious ganache, just to finish them off, because there's not enough chocolate in there. Just going to add these last two cute little foil patty pans to our baking tray, and then we're ready to start making our mixture, which is really simple. All we need to do is to add the rest of our ingredients to the mixing bowl. I've got the cocoa powder in there. I'm gonna start off with some hot water. Make sure the water is hot because we need to loosen the cocoa powder up. So we have half a cup here. And as with all baking, be careful to make sure that your ingredients are accurate because it really is quite important to get all the ingredients accurate. Also be careful to make sure you turn the mixer on slowly or you'll end up wearing most of the mix. So I'll just turn that on nice and slowly. Then I can start adding the rest of the ingredients. I put the wet ones in first of all, so I put the butter in. So I've got some melted butter, brown sugar, some vanilla extract, two eggs, which I'll, a lot of practice in cracking those eggs. I remember as a, in my early days as a chef, somebody saying to me that good cooks get chicks, so I learned to crack eggs really quickly so I could make an omelette in the morning. So two eggs. I've got some flour here. I'm very conscious of this flour coming out of the bowl, so I'm just gonna turn the mixer off for one second while I add the flour in. And the flour's already got baking powder and salt in there. So our flour. Mix it back down, back on slowly. Now I'm gonna beat this into a nice creamy consistency. It's important that all the ingredients are mixed through properly. And then I'll add the sour cherries. These have been drained and patted dry. It's really important that there's not too much liquid in them. Um, I'll add these at the end because I don't want them to get crushed by the mixer so that they stay nice and whole in the mixture. Now I'm just gonna turn this up just a little. Now there's some ingredients around the edge of the bowl there. I'll just take those off with a spatula just to make sure that everything's going into our mix. It also means that somebody gets a spoon to lick at some stage. In this case, it's going to be me. This mixture's pretty much ready to go now. I'm gonna turn it down to a very slow speed, the slowest we can. Add the cherries and just give it one last little beat. As I say, I'm very conscious of not breaking those cherries up in the mixture. Now this batter is quite runny, so don't be worried about that, which actually makes it easier to get into the little patty pans. It's probably the consistency of a really thick cream. Don't over mix at this stage, that's ready to go. So here we go, our mixture's ready, our patty pans are ready, and we've got our oven preheated to 180 degrees, ready to pop these in. Now when you're filling the patty pans up, try and keep it nice and tidy, although we can hide any, any of our sins with some chocolate ganache later on, and we need them about Two thirds full because they will rise. This is actually good enough to eat now, I think. Always put a bit less in than a bit more because you can always go around at the end and top the patty pans up so that they're all the same size and the same amount of filling. And there we are, ready for the oven. While our muffins are in the oven, I'm going to show you an easy way to make a really delicious chocolate ganache. You'd normally use a double boiler, but what I'm going to do is to add some cream to a pan that's on a really low heat, and that's quite important. So really low heat, pour the cream in, and don't walk away from this, it's really important. I want to get the cream warm enough to melt the chocolate. So I'm just getting some heat in here. I don't want it to boil, that's really important. I'm now going to add the chocolate. It's melting pretty much straight away, which is great. So just keep stirring the chocolate nice and gentle, pulling it away from the bottom. The chocolate now is almost all melted. I'm gonna keep a really close eye on it now and keep stirring it. I wanna get a nice sheen on the chocolate, this chocolate. Almost there, so it doesn't take long at all. It's probably only been in the pan here for about a minute. And as little heat as I can get in here. So the chocolate's melted now. Turn the heat off, we don't want any more heat in there. And just give it a really good stir, and as you're stirring it, you'll actually see, you'll get a beautiful glaze on top of the chocolate. It's starting to get really shiny. Transfer it into a bowl.
some cling on top, and then into the fridge to cool down. So now it's time for the magic to happen. We've cooked the muffins. They've been in the oven for about 15 or 20 minutes at 180 degrees. The key is to keep popping into the oven with a wooden skewer, dip the skewer into the muffins, and when it comes out clean, they're ready and they're baked. Now, you have to let these cool right down because if they're still warm, the ganache will slide off the top. So they've cooled right down. I've got my ganache ready. I'm just gonna show you a little tip to fill a piping bag because they can be a little bit messy. Here's one of the fabulous Multics piping bags. I've put the nozzle on. I've chosen a little star nozzle here. I've put the nozzle on. Get yourself a beaker and just wrap the piping bag around the beaker. Here's our ganache out of the fridge that we made earlier on. So this is set and ready to go. I'm just gonna fill our piping bag. And by doing that, it makes it really easy just to lift the bag off and it's not too messy. Nice and tight. I'm gonna go from the outside in. So just wrapping the ganache around. You can never have too much ganache. There are antioxidants in chocolate and antioxidants are really good for you. So I guess it goes to say that chocolate's really good for you as well. And dark chocolate is even better for you. Almost ready to eat. I'm just gonna pop these over here. And there you have it. Sinful Black Forest muffins, which I reckon are better than 